Well, Ian, another aspect of the signing on policy for a United today, well, maybe not signing on yet, mm -hmm. um, it's uh, an agreement to sign on from young Finn Eckerpoint, who's a young Scottish internationalist. Yeah, well, listen, it's, it's, we feel it's, it's quite an important signing for us, and uh, you know, he's agreed a three year contract, uh, which he'll sign on his 16th birthday on the 30th of July. Um, a three year full time contract, you know, and you know, we feel whilst it's no guarantee he'll go on and, 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 and be as good as people think he might be, he's certainly one of the top five or six young Scottish players at his age in Scotland. Uh, hence, obviously, scoring the winner against England uh, for Scotland under 16. So, um, his father and the family are, are Air United fans, and Finn has wanted to play for Air since he was nine years of age, by all accounts. And um, I, I think it's because he could have left, there's no doubt, absolutely no doubt. You know, the, the contract is all agreed, it's in writing now, and Finn will sign it on the 30th. And he's, you know, committed to Air for the next three years. And, you know, just to, to a little byline on how highly we rate to uh, young Finn is that. You know, when we had no defenders in the second last game of the season against Alloa, we phoned the SFA to see if we, would, we could play him. Uh, but he, he wasn't 16 yet, we weren't allowed to play him. So he's been in the system since he was 9 or 10 or something like that. And uh, great credit to the academy, great credit to David White for uh, for nurturing and bringing him along. And, you know, his father does some work in the academy as well, Weddy. And it's just, I, I feel it could be, there, there's pitfalls along the way with young players, there's no doubt. But if he continues like he is, you know, it, uh, you could see Finn moving for a considerable amount of money before the end of this contract, and would love to see him playing in Air United's first team in the next year or so. And you know, who's to say can he when he's sixteen or seventeen? You know, people have done it before and they'll do it again. So we feel it's it's quite a big news for our club to be handing out a three-year contract to a young kid. Um, but he shows he shows great promise, uh, not just as a player, but the, the mental side of things, he, he seems to me, he's been training with the first team for six months now and has never let himself down, he seems to me a strong, strong character, which is what you need if you want to go to the, the top levels of, of the game. The other side of that, as I've said, there are pitfalls, there's no guarantee, there's a lot of players now who played Scotland at 15, 16, 17, they're now playing junior football, nothing against junior football or, or lower league football, um, so there's no guarantees. But I think we've got ourselves a good one, and it's, it's a big, big sign for our club. As you said, it's a real respect to the Football Academy, yeah. uh, the development they've done of that, but it's also very good today. I watched his, uh, his mum, his dad, his little brother Ollie, who's mm. also a goalkeeper. Yeah, just under 12. Yeah, yeah. Under 12 yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and it was very much a thing about loving this club and wanting to be part of it, mm. and, and that's something that's really great to see. Well, it is great. You know, listen, I, I don't overplay that type of stuff, you know, but I do believe that it is something the supporters should love. You know, it's uh, bottom line is Lauren Shanklin was an A.I. fan, you know, but I think the supporters love him now, and hopefully they'll continue to do it. But it does help at the start of your career. There's nothing like a young boy who's kind of steeped in A.I. coming through and playing in the first team. I think the academy, you know, at times I think it comes in for criticism, but when you look at the amount of games that Robbie Crawford and Alan Forrest and Craig McGuffey have played, you know, it's, they've been a big part of the first team now for Craig for a couple of years, Alan for a number of years, Robbie for seven or eight years, all of whom terrific footballers. So, you know, let's hope there's a there's a few more to come through, and and you know the other boys that are signed, and also young Finn. We hope that he he comes through and, and plays in our first team. Thanks, you. Cheers.